In this episode, I talk about how moon and rocket emojis, pictures of Lamborghinis, Elon Musk tweets, this meme all supercharged a cryptocurrency called Dogecoin to go from 0 0.007 to 0 0.08 cents, which is more or less a jump of 1000% in just 11 days. But the question that everyone has on their minds right now, including myself, should we buy in and ride the Doge train? What is up guys? My name is Mendy and this is Discarte Pilipinas. This is a show where I talk about content creation, entrepreneurship, and wealth building. Before I move forward, I'd like everyone to know that I am not a financial advisor in any way. I'm not licensed. So I am not liable for anything that you do or not do with your money after this video. As with any investment, you want to go deep on research to know what you're investing in, what you're putting your money in. And so the first part of this video is me detailing where Dogecoin comes from and then eventually discussing what its value is. So Dogecoin, it's a, it's a meme coin. It's a, it's a coin based off of a really cute meme. And uh, it was started as a, a joke. Literally a joke. So it was created by Billy Marcus and Jackson Palmer, both engineers, both really smart people probably. And so they set out to create a peer-to-peer -peer digital currency because they were bored. Well, Jackson was bored. Apparently Jackson Palmer came up with the uh, idea of Dogecoin and he started talking about it even if it didn't exist yet. And at the time, this was probably about late 2012 or early 2013, uh, no one really knew about cryptocurrencies. That or you knew about it but didn't understand it or you thought that the entire crypto space was taking themselves way too seriously, so you create your own coin out of boredom. According to Jackson, he had so much time on his hands that he actually bought the website dogecoin.com. And Billy, on the other hand, sees it and says, So he made it into an actual cryptocurrency. And eventually they launched in 2013, two weeks later and a lot of viral marketing later, its valuation jumped to 300%. Why was it viral? Because it was a meme, a joke. And people love jokes. And at that point, it was really only ever used on microtransactions on mobile games. And obviously Reddit adapted it into allowing its users to tip using Dogecoin. And after a while, and surprisingly, Robinhood decided to list them. This obviously further boosted its valuation. And then Elon Musk started tweeting about it, just declares himself as the, the CEO of Dogecoin. And here we are, March 2021. Dogecoin's market cap is at 10 billion dollars. 10 billion dollars as a joke. Again, I'm not saying that the currency itself is a joke, but wow. Oh my god! Wow! 2013, eight years, 10 billion dollars. And now that you have a decent background of where Dogecoin comes from, let's discuss its actual value. I'm gonna use Bitcoin because obviously everyone at least is familiar with what Bitcoin is. Dogecoin in on itself was based off of Litecoin, which in on itself is a fork or based off of Bitcoin. So they're a little bit similar in terms of engineering. And one of the biggest differences in these two coins is that Bitcoin is limited to 21 million Bitcoins. If you don't know yet, in order to generate Bitcoin, miners have to solve complex mathematical problems. Imagine uh, them solving a Rubik's Cube as the block. And every time this block is solved, there is 6.25 new Bitcoins that are generated. And as more Bitcoins are generated, more mathematical problems are generated, the mathematical problems for new Bitcoins to be created get even more complex. And at the end of it all, the maximum supply for Bitcoin is at 21 million Bitcoins, which makes it a deflationary currency. Now again, Dogecoin's engineering was based off of Litecoin, which in turn was based off of Bitcoin. But the main difference is Dogecoin works faster. Dogecoin is a little bit cheaper to use. And the major difference is that Dogecoin generates 10,000 coins per minute. Compare that to Bitcoin's 6.25. Dogecoin in on itself is literally like the money we have now, which is a little bit funny to say. It is an inflationary type of currency, which means theoretically it has no limit. Think of this, each year the entire supply of Dogecoin increases by 5 billion, which encourages usage, yes, but that means it gets less rare the more coins that are generated or mined. Its valuation decreases overall. But in theory, or should there be a very disruptive event where everyone needs to use Dogecoin, its value can actually increase, but that's, that's pretty uncertain. So the way I see it, its value comes from three things. The first is 
you smashing the like button so I know you love this video. Kidding aside, the first is the attention that it gets, that it grabs. It may be hype, but the attention is its value. Yes, it is a meme which grabs attention, but it is a meme with a $10 billion market cap. Number two, it is unforgiving in its utter disregard of the seriousness that comes with cryptocurrencies or crypto projects, which actually makes it authentic, which actually makes people love it because it is true to itself. It knows that it is a joke. It's not even trying. And as the millennials say, or the, the Gen Z people say nowadays, the less you try, the more authentic you are, the cooler you are, the more they like you. And number three, the same as Bitcoin, its value is completely decentralized and is dictated by the people. I mean, look at Elon Musk. How many times has he tweeted about it to get its price up? Which basically means he is influencing the price. The same way he's influencing me to want to live on Mars. Or get a Tesla. Or get that blowtorch. But besides him, there's Gary Vee talking about it. There's Gene Simmons. There's Lil Yachty. There's, the, there's YouTubers. TikTok army. The TikTok army promoting Dogecoin, furthering the marketing of the coin, and the more people that know of the coin, the more interest there is, the more attention there is, one way or another that actually can support the value or that can support the price. Is it hype? Maybe. But again, hype is attention. And nowadays, getting people's attention is valuable. It was never meant to be anything, but now it is something which makes it a little bit amazing. People embrace it because it was a joke and they wanted to jump in on the fun and enjoy the moment of having a meme coin. But now the question is, will you? That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't hesitate to click the like button or comment down below. Let me know if you like the video. Let me know if you're invested in cryptocurrency. Let me know what your best coin is. And also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Once again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Mendy, and this has been Descarte Filipinas.